And of course, September is Hispanic Heritage Month, and it continues, of course, to be celebrated nationwide. But as some locals point out, being Hispanic is so much more than just the word. Our Michael Tater spoke to some community members who share the importance of properly labeling their identity. Latinos are so diverse. We're diverse from Costa Ricans, from Nicaraguans, from Puerto Ricans. Linda Alvarado Atza grew up in defiance and moved to Toledo more than 20 years ago. She now owns a feminist bookstore and says her heritage is a big part of her identity. She says discrimination comes simply from not knowing enough about others. May seem a little bit different, but they're not really that different. And the only way that you can break down those barriers is if you bring it to people and let them share and be part of it. It lets us embrace that we are a country of many. And it, uh, it lets us, you know, it lets us learn about each other. Alfonso Narvez is president of the One Village Council. Both he and Linda believe that they have the power to identify who they are. In fact, a 2019 study found that almost half of Hispanic or Latino Americans prefer to be identified by their family's country of origin and not just Hispanic or Latino. The census, a, gov a federal government document, is who's called us, who's named us, who's labeled us. We've come into a space now where we'd like to name ourselves. We're reclaiming, we're taking that back now and saying, no, we're Latinx. Latinx is a newer gender neutral term that is becoming a more inclusive alternative for Hispanic or Latino. And Narvez says, we've passed the colorblind stage of our nation and people now want to be seen for their individual heritages. We're individual cultures, individual races, individual um, experiences. We want you to look at our ethnicity. We want you to see the baggage and the wonderful stuff that we carry with us every single day that makes us different from our Puerto Ricans, our Spaniards, but we're all one. Linder says she hopes in the years to come, celebrations of different cultures become more of an everyday thing and not just one time of the year. In South Toledo, Michael Tater, WTOL 11.